catch Raven King off guard with it. Because I don't know. I mean, that all that is great. However, Raven King plays Steve every week. Yes. So let's multiple see. Steves every week. Yes. Sometimes getting this right into oh, that raw. raw F smash or up smash. Okay. I mean. This is tough. Spaghetti opening to this game here, but yeah, yeah, he's so. <laughs> I I haven't we haven't said anything because I mean I'm, that was I'm quick. Bro was flabbergasted. Quick seventy six percent and Camel Cat shows no sign of stopping. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna make some analysis, and then I didn't. So I'm gonna make my analysis now. Mm. Um. Rodacious plays a more textbook Steve, if that yes. makes sense. Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, and Camo Cat's just kind of throwing out moves. Like, he's just kind of walking around with, like, combo starter, combo starter, yeah. bang, 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 bang. And it's, a, it's different, and I don't know if Raven King is used to it. I know no. he's very good at adaptation, so we'll see how long this lasts. Yeah. But, but here's the other thing, right? I mean... Camo Cat does have the Roy slash Crom in his back pocket. That's true. To really kind of throw people off at adapting to him too yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a really good position to be in if you're Camo Cat. You've got diamonds up. However, we've got that Arsene on deck. And here's the other thing. I don't know how often Camo Cat is playing against Jokers, right? Yeah. And so we see with Redacious uh, versus Raven King, he's doing a really good job at good not interacting with... Um, with Arsene and uh, Camel Cat not doing, taking a, the exact opposite approach. It feels like he gets more aggressive when he has Arsene out. Well, I mean, it's it's one thing to wait out Arsene and it's one thing to beat out Arsene. Yes, and it's not gonna, that just takes a stock. Just raw minecart, not even, yeah. wow. Really good stuff to Camel Cat. Let's mm -hmm. see what else he can cook here. I mean, the last time Camel Cat was uh, in Chicago, he did beat Sir Dank. In, uh, well, you are also a certified Sir Dank hater. Hey, we so. don't got to talk about that. I mean, anybody beating Sir Dank is a dub for you. It was a, it was a pretty clean set. I'm not going to lie. It was yeah. a really good set. But uh, let's see what Camel Cat can do here. Sneaking through, threading the needle with that minecart and doing a lot of shield pressure here. Ooh. So there's the uh, something about the counter that not a lot of people either not a lot of people know or not a lot of people talk about. But it actually sends in whatever direction uh, Joker is facing. Yeah. So that's why he was able to get uh, off the blocks. And honestly, if he had tech that, he might have been able to even get a punish off of getting countered. Mm -hmm. But uh, really good stuff to Raven King taking that stock. No Arsene on deck, and uh, Camel Cat has a diamond. He does, but is he going to get time to craft it? No, he has already crafted it. Oh. So, I mean, it's just like one up tilt backer, one raw backer, one raw forward smash. I mean, he has so many options on his plate here. Um, not a particularly safe back air on the shield there, but let's see. Raven King doing a really good job, just not letting him land. Yeah, he, I mean, and it's even now. Yeah. Essentially, uh, Raven King has not been touched in like 30 seconds. And there's that back air. Not going to okay, take the stock okay. just yet. Give Camel Cat some time to get some blocks back, some iron. Ooh, really good pressure. Really good pressure from Camel Cat, tossing out those back airs. Uh, looked yeah. like he was kind of mixing up the timings on getting the auto cancel versus the non auto cancel just to kind of um, bait Raven King into picking an option and caught him panicking. Uh, really good stuff to Camel Cat taking that game one. Is it rude to say I can tell he plays Roy from the way that he was playing Steve? And you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know about. exactly what you're talking about. Is That's that, messed up. Is that is that messed up? That's a little messed up, but I'll allow it. I mean, I just called him a masher. See, here's the thing. And there it is. There's the Roy. There's the Roy. Pink Roy the based. So we'll see how this goes, right? Yeah. Is Raven King ready for the Roy switch? I mean, we don't. We have Revolver, but I mean, how many Roys do we really, do you really fight here in yeah. Chicago, right? So Camel Cat bringing something new to the table. Let's see. Really good parry from Raven King there. This is exciting. We haven't seen a Roy here in a while. Yeah, you don't you don't see a Roy at Springfield every and day. And he used to be everywhere. Yeah, it's even weirder. I mean, I guess as the meadow progressed, he got a little bit harder to play, quote unquote. Yeah, because mashing became less rewarding, and oh, Raven King hit him with a dash dance. He is feeling yeah. it. He's like, finally, I get to 
run up and I get to play, play a game. rushdown <laughs> character. This is crazy. Oh, oh my. my god, the double spike. Oh, he, he went for a triple. You know he what? went for the triple. That's Yeah. Really good upbeat from Camel Cat. No R set on deck. Let's see if Camel Cat can secure the stock. Here is the difficult part about Roy. Is that you can toss out these kill moves. But they got But if hit. you're not getting that sweet spot, right, at the base of the hill, you're not getting a kill. Yes. And that recovery is super exploitable as well. Let's see how Riven King plans to capitalize on something like that. Uh, good job saving his jump there. But he burned the jump early this time, and Raven King's not going to punish that recovery. Oh. Uh, oof. Just barely missing the punish on that, too. It, it looks like Raven King is like. Uh, Camel Cat's doing a really good job at just surviving right now, but that's yeah. not going to that's be enough yeah. when you're down like this. You have to c secure a stock, especially before Arsene comes out. Because if Arsene comes out now and you lose your stock, you're now on your last stock facing an Arsene. But really good stuff from Camel Cat taking it with that raw back air. Yeah. And. Burns all his resources. That's yeah. That's it. That's a dead roar. That's a dead full roar. stock up for Raven King. Let's see what he can do here. He's gonna get a nice little combo. Good air dodge away to escape. Yeah. There we go. I played Camel Cat earlier. His Roy and his Crom. Yeah. And he is really good at those up airs and getting making sure he's hitting that tower, that uh, sweet spot. Yeah. I mean. You have to, because oh, it, yeah. it's such a good juggle tool mm -hmm. as well when you hit that sweet spot. I tried to play Roy for a little bit. And uh, oh, I thought Raven King almost ran off like he Me did too. in the Radacia set. <laughs> I thought so too. Really good catch on the roll, getting the e -hop. But let's see, can Camel Cat bring this back? Raven King so, is kind of so slippery. Is doing a really good job at being so so evasive and just not letting him match on his face. But as I say that, you know, Camel Cat kind of mashed on his board. face, yeah. Yeah, kind of mashed on his face a little bit. Let's see what Camel Cat can do from here. Hey, mash your rights, bro. We're, we're players too. Hey, I mash. I play Steve. I mash. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But, uh, I mean, Raven King is doing a lot of shielding here. They're both doing a lot of shielding here. Both of their shields super low, so let's see what can happen. We've got our set on deck. Really good air dodge. Not tossing out a hitbox just in case. Weird little clank there. This is so scary. It is. I just mean, Raven King's at Jair percent. And uh, any raw hit from yeah. our and Sen could take the stock. But no water set on deck anymore. So that kill power is actually spot super up nerfed. there. Sweet and spot forward air. All of a sudden, I don't, this, this kind of escaped us here, but Camel Cat has all of a sudden brought himself back in the game after losing yeah. his last few stocks Next super hit quickly. wins, maybe, and not okay. not going to lose the stock off of that. Oh. Really good air dodge, actually. That, that was, was actually a really smart air dodge. Oh, yeah. I mean, because you're expecting somebody to grab ledge there. Right. Right? And resetting for a ledge trap. But, I mean, kind of... It really good uh, reaction time from Raven King to not get too caught off guard by that, but super good stuff to Camel Cat. And we're going to see the switch back to Steve here, but I mean, Raven King's got one on the board, but so does Camel Cat. And now here's the question Is he ready to go back to fighting Steve? I would say so. And look at that, I was right. I I want to say it's, it's probably a uh, stage thing, right? Nope, they're back on PS2. Oh. No, uh, Cam uh, I've talked to Camel Cat. He says that every game he switch. All right. The the proto tech, yep. and it didn't really work game two, but we'll see I with mean, that extension there. I don't want to say it didn't work because he almost brought it back. That's true. They were both But, I mean, he was, he was not winning that game ever. Even if he was, like, ahead in percent, he was not winning that game. That is true. But uh, we'll see how this is going. Raven King is really kind of on top of the Steve here, not letting him get a lot off. Yeah. He's at 120% and has hardly touched Raven King on their first stock here. Shoot that Eha through the little gap there, and that's a bunch of up airs. But here's here's the the big guy, and here's so we're gonna Arsene. see if he can convert. And he will. 
Yeah, good back air, kind of catching, camel catch jumps there. Oh, really Anvil, good. Anvil does illegal amounts of shield damage. Yes. It's it's a, a wee bit silly even. I agree. <laughs> I agree. But uh, camel catch kind of slowing down the pace here. Um, we we kind of saw him really blow up Raven King on that first stock, but it uh -huh. feels like Raven King as a player is just really good at picking up, just even if he loses that game, right? Yep. Really good at taking and dissecting different parts of your playstyle and really running away with it. So let's see what he has to do here. And he needs so to be smart. He, he put a whole Rube Goldberg machine on that ledge yeah. to make Raven King think. And, uh, oh, <laughs> what? That's a funny, that's funny. Okay, I never thought about that. Yeah? Does that setup have an, uh, a name? No, not that I know of. Okay, so one thing that I'm, like, kind of jealous about Steve Mains is that you yeah. guys can, like, name all your tech, all these weird, you know, Minecraft references. <laughs> he killed him with down tilt. Sorry, continue. So, because, like, you've got the nether portal, right? Yeah. You've got the, the, yeah, classic. the, uh, the mob grinder. EXP farm, yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever. But like, pick loops. Although we should have called it strip mining, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> it's, it's, that's so good. It's, <laughs> it's so like, much better. You it's guys so have much so better. much silly things that you can name all your 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 combos and your setups after. Yeah. Um. Although banjo players have a tech called KFC, so I don't know. Yeah, but that's banjo. I mean, yeah. He kind of needs it to be honest. Banjo players, I say in air quotes. <laughs> Ah, uh, but, but yeah, while I was I was being a little silly guy, uh, Raven King has ran away with this first game. Yeah. S third game, sorry. Yeah. The proto band hammer effect not really working too too well here for Camel Cat, it feels like. Although the, it, it could it could work out here, right? We saw yeah. the Roy do pretty well even when he was down. Uh, we know the Steve has taken a game, so it's definitely possible for Camel Cat to do that again. But here is where do you lose faith in the game plan, right? You know, it's a lot of mental stack on the opponent to keep switching, to keep having to adapt your playstyle to do different characters. But yeah. it's even more so when you are going from Steve to Roy. You're kind of like losing brain cells and gaining brain cells every single time you switch. Losing them with Steve, right? You think Roy takes more brain cells? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I do not. I was simply, I was simply I making was just fun asking. of you. I was just asking. All right, quick, uh, quick, JV. No, okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, good opening. There you go. Yeah, really good from, opening from uh, both these players here in game four. Uh, tournament game here for Camo Cat. Yep. If uh, he can't bring something back. Yep. And Camel Cat has been doing a really good job uh, actually spacing his aerials. Ooh. And he, Camel Cat is really good at finding those up airs when he definitely should not be. That is the like second or third time. That's called time. mashing, my friend. No, no, no. Finding no, no, no. aerials where you shouldn't, that's that's called mashing. That's calculated. Yeah, calculated. Mashing as uh. Camel Cat <laughs> takes first stock in game four. Okay. He's given all us mashers a good a good name out here. But Raven King firing back immediately saying, no, 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 no. this is how you take a stock. <laughs> really good conversion from Raven King here. Let's see. Oh, so Ooh. good on the grab there. Yeah, a lot of players will kind of uh, mash on his face there. So uh, good on Camelcat for not letting that happen too much. And he's got, ooh, the oh, two frame. Oh, caught up. Oh, I couldn't do it twice in a row. Yeah, not going to get it twice, but I mean, still, you've got our uh, Joker at kill percent as Roy, but he's got our set on deck, not for long, so he has to make this count. Yes. That, that big, big F tilt there going to knock him off. Really big F tilt going to knock him out. Yeah, and this is where Camel Cat kind of really shines. This is when he's up a stock and he's doing mm -hmm. really good. He's got Raven King exactly oh, where he wants him. Oh, we're playing melee with some <laughs> chain grabs out here. Let's see what Camel Cat can do here and if Raven King can bring it back. Oh, he is all over him right now. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. Just really in Raven King's face here. He's nearly got Arsene already. 40, 60% Arsene coming out. But I mean, does it matter against uh, uh, Camel Cat who's just kind of in your face and on fire? Yeah, uh, sometimes literally with Roy, you know? Yeah. You never, you never know. And that's gonna shield poke. Gonna take the stock, yeah. All right, really close here. Tournament stock now. Yeah, 
for both for both the no, not both of them. Raven King's got a game to play with, but he definitely does not want to give it up. Yeah, you don't want to go to another game against a Steve, to be honest, because there's so many shenanigans that could go on. You, if a I'm Raven King, I want to take this out right now. Yes. I do not want a game five. But if I'm Camel Cat, yeah, I'm I'm itching for a game five, and it looks like we might be able to get that here because. Good Raven King there sitting, with the gun in the air. Yeah, Raven King sitting on the ledge here, 122%. Can he? What can he do here? He can get back air to the face. That's what he can do. Camel Cat is really good at his parries. I mean, yes. I was when I was saying earlier, just parrying everything that he can. Uh, you know, giving, uh, take, taking that inch that you're giving him and just going the full mile with it. But let's see what he can do here because Raven King nearly has Arsene on deck. And that's going to give it to him as uh Ooh, really okay. good forward air. Okay, game five, lads. Game five. Two game fives in a row. Oh, yeah. Let's go. And we're going to see the Steve versus Joker here. Wait, he's switching? He's going to Ike. He's going Ike. He's going Ike. Okay. This is going to be interesting. We haven't seen the Raven King icon a little bit. We have not. So I don't know how in practice it is. However, something that is very scary for me, if I'm in Camel Cat situation, I don't know if he knows this. If Raven King says he's switching to Ike, you should be scared. Yes. <laughs> you should be. There. He he's saved Roy. Roy. Probably right. the better idea. Yes. I, I agree. It probably is the better idea to um, abandon your game plan here um, against Roy. Because he's got that big sword to kind of really, really deal with all of Steve's BS. So yeah. let's see what Camel Cat can do here. But uh, oh, this is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a game of all time. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a tense game. Uh, really good stuff for Raven okay, King. Okay. Both of them pretty much at even percentages. Really good parry. Yeah. We've been saying it all night. Camel Cat's parries are kind of ludicrous. Yeah, I don't know anybody who can parry like him, to be honest. Uh, me, I'm built different. I'm kidding. So, uh, <laughs> we're, we're back in this game, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's Raven King's going for this up B a lot in neutral. Because it's good. Well, I mean, <laughs> that move, well, I had that more move, to say, but now I'm going to sound stupid. That move is both really bad and really good. Yes. But really good stuff. Raven King. Uh, we like Ike. We like Ike. He's just going for that. Ew, good dash attack. That was raw. Yeah. You just throw that bad boy out there. Like I said, you should. If you're not scared of Raven King's Ike, when he switches on game five, you should be. Yes. I mean, you do not want to be against this thing. This is this Oof, is the good uh, raw back there. There. Oh yeah. Ooh, but he's gonna take it with that forward tilt. A little bit of a miss input from Raven King, it looks like going for the neutral B, it looks yeah. like. But let's see if he can just kind of shrug that off and really, really kind of blow up uh, Camel Cat here, or if Camel Cat's gonna take it. Yeah, it looks like, you know, maybe our most evenly uh, matched game yet, even though Raven King's up a bunch of percent. Uh, both these guys have just been swinging for the fences, and they're yeah. both hitting home runs. Really good, uh, really good from uh, Raven King there. He both read the air dodge and went for the double jump to Oof. catch he it. He read that tech away too, but yes, he, he did. He, he didn't uh, get that. Oh, that's really filthy. good. Really good two frame. And what do you do as Camelot got here? I mean, you, you are against hope it. and you pray. You pray a lot. Uh, I mean, like I said, you never want. Never. The, this is why you should be scared. This is why. Yeah, but Camel Cut not uh, not crumbling too much in the fear of danger here in the uh, face of danger here. Mm -hmm. Got him at the nice percent, but can he do something about it? Really? Oh, good. that was such a good read. Really good. Ooh, those down tilt pokes. We're doing so much at the Ooh. big F smash. and the taunt. Okay, but don't okay. don't lose now. Yeah, no. Don't taunt lose to, now. Taunt to get bodied. Hello, GR Smash. Don't lose now, Camel Cat. Come on. Oh, if that if that spike hit, I would have popped off so hard. Oh yeah. I mean, Camel Cat is very clearly a phenomenal player, doing a really yeah. good job. He's even though he's down. I mean, I, I still find not just yet really good stuff. You know what? 
I'll clap it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, clap it up for Camel Cat here. Good stuff from Camel Cat. Uh, Ripping him gonna take that game. Flies. Uh, really, really nice set. We are out of here after this.